Hello everyone! Today we will conduct a very interesting experiment with an interesting substance called luminal. This substance will emit light under certain conditions. So, to begin, let's prepare a solution of luminal. For that, let's scale about 0.2 g of luminal in a large glass, furthermore adding the 20 g of baking soda and half a gram of copper sulfate. Next, pour half a liter of water to our mixture, then add a small amount of ammonia solution and a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution. Luminal dissolves much better in an alkaline solution. After that, mix it up so that everything dissolves well. And here we have prepared our first solution. Next, let's take another beaker and add the about 5 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide and dilute the entire volume of the solution to half a liter. And here we have prepared both solutions. Now we will conduct the reaction itself. Take 15 ml of each solution, turn off the lights and merge them together. As you can see, a very beautiful glow occurs. Luminal emits light for a few seconds. After that, the glow begins to fade gradually. This is the basic drawback of luminal. In fact, to achieve a longer lasting glow, it needs new materials to be added constantly. Light emission occurs because luminal is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide, and the resulting new substance creates a photon, which is a particle of light. Also, for a more effective reaction, I have prepared such an interesting system. I'll pour both solutions on top of the funnel, and they will mix in a tube, and we will see a very nice glowing effect in motion. There is another method of the luminescence of luminol. I took a two-tenth of a gram of luminol and dissolved it in a 1% alkali solution. Also, I have added about 10 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide to the solution. To start the glowing reaction, I just add a catalyst, either red blood salt or potassium ferrocyanate.